What's up guys? So The Best of Enemies is written and directed by Robin Bicell. This is his directorial debut and this is also the first screenplay he's written. He's produced films such as Seabiscuit and The Hunger Games and this is the true story of Taraji P. Henson's character. She plays Anne Atwater and Sam Rockwell is also in this film and he plays C.P. Ellis. And he is actually the president of the Ku Klux Klan in North Carolina. And she is living in this community where they are not uh, treating her and her, her people um, the way that they should be treated. So basically what this film is, is one thing leads to another. We want to bring these two sort of um, races together to ultimately create one uh, race is what they're trying to, to, to do in the film. We've seen movies like this before. Uh, this is really nothing new, but this is based off a book. And going into the movie, I was very intrigued to see it. I do really love Sam Rockwell. I think he's a great actor. I think Taraji P. Henson is very good as well. And this movie, I think that they are both good in it. I think Sam Rockwell is actually great in the film. Honestly, he is the lead of the movie. I mean, this is his film. He carries the movie. I like the arc that he has, and we sort of see what's going on with his family life and, and what makes him tick, and some of the choices he makes, and the overall arc of his character, I did really like. Taraji P. Henson's character, I feel like she starts out, the first time we see her in the movie, she's, she's very aggressive, and she keeps the same sort of tone throughout the film. And I think in some scenes, she overplays it a bit, and I think in other scenes, she plays it just right. Uh, so she's not note perfect, but I do think she's good in the film, where Rockwell, I think, is great. I think Robin Bicell's screenplay for the movie is, is good, but it's not tight. It could have been a lot tighter, which leads to, you know, the movie being a little long, a little over bloated. I do, I do get what they're going for and the overall message to the film. I just think that some things could have been cut. It could have been shorted down, shortened down, but, uh, you know, I was entertained. I was interested and invested. I want to see what was going to happen next, but there's no doubt that this movie, uh, it does have pa pacing issues. It does feel long. It does feel too long. Uh, but the directing also by Robin Bicell, I think he actually is a better director than a writer with this film anyway. We'll see what he does next. But in this case, I do think his direction was better than the screenplay. I like some of the, the shots in the movie. I think the, the music choices were good. I just overall think it was a little too long. The movie's not anything we haven't seen before. There was not, really nothing special about it. You kind of expect what's going to happen. It's a little cliched in that way. Um, but overall, I do think that this is an okay movie. I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it's great either. So I'm going to give The Best of Enemies... Three out of five stars. I would say I did moderately like the movie. Uh, so guys, come your thoughts. Do you plan on seeing this? What are your thoughts about it? If you did see it, um, are you excited to see it? What do you th think about Sam Rockwell? You can subscribe to this channel for my next Quickie Wednesday review, which will be up tomorrow. It's a new series I started on this channel. And tomorrow I will be reviewing my favorite comedy of all time, Dumb and Dumber. And that is because the movie does uh, celebrate its 25th anniversary this year. And also, there's a new comedy coming out this weekend. Uh, so I thought, why not? This is a good time to talk about it. Good time to talk about Dumb and Dumber. So you can check that out tomorrow. Also, reviews for Missing Link, Hellboy, and Little will be up within the next coming days. So you can check those out. Guys, you can follow me on Patreon if you want to see this channel grow. If you want to help this channel grow. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video. And you can also follow me on Instagram at KingArises131. And guys, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching my review for the best of enemies. Over and out. <laughs> in a bad mood today. Talking about home.